Hey, what's going on, Portal Masters? Robert Welkner here from CoinOp TV. Now, on this episode of Skylanders 101, I want to break things down with one of my favorite all time OG life elements, Camo, who is back again as Thornhorn Camo. He comes in the Archean Crossbow Battle Pack. Really, really big fan of Camo the first time around. Glad to have him back. So, let's check out some of Thornhorn Camo's gameplay right now. Root Punch! All right, let's check out some of Camo's abilities here. Thornhorn Camo. This upgrades, one of the classic life elements. He starts off with the Sun Blast. Press X to blast enemies with concentrated life energy. Although it kind of looks like a fireball when I'm playing with him. The Firecracker Vines. Press B to conjure up uh, fast-growing vines of exploding melons, or mel explosive melons. Searing Sun Blast. There you go. See, it's sun blast. So, you know, we've gone from life to sun to, sun to fire. And then the melon fountain. Uh, press Y to send men melons flying everywhere. I'll kind of jump, kind of jump and leap into the ground and pop up with some melons there. Firecracker food. Vigorous vines. And then the path I went with, I think, is the good way to go is the like kind of the melon path. Ring of might. The melon, the melon fountain blasts out more melons. The melon GMO, melon fountain does increased damage. And then the melon fortress, hold Y to hide in the melon fountain and then release it. So you can kind of go underground kind of for a few seconds. Uh, sort of like, uh, you know, Robo Rouser kind of hide, hide in the ground for a few seconds. So one of the new swappers. But you may go with the Marshally, Marshall Bounty, Peppers of Potency or Profileration. Let me know if you guys go with that path. And then his soul gem is the orbiting sun shield, and you can have a couple of these going at once. And then his new wow pow is the explosive harvest. Any melon can turn into explosive super melons and launch at enemies. So we'll show you some of that gameplay here. All right, so here's Thorn Horn Camo. You can see I have them all leveled up, so therefore his horns, he's got sort of the extra thorns on his horns. <laughs> That's kind of weird to say, but here's his first attack, shooting out this uh, life energy. It's pretty fast, but it kind of has a little bit of a hitch where it kind of almost like goes in twos. I wish it was just kind of like rapid fire. And then the uh, second attack is like a dive in the ground. And you're actually seeing, so right there, those are part of the wow pow. These, uh, some of his melons will turn sort of this weird gray, ugly pumpkin thing and they'll just kind of bounce randomly and explode and that's good for when you're surrounded by a group of dudes and then you can like hold down the uh, the X to kind of hide underground for a second well you kind of hide behind the melons not so much underground then you can wait like wait for dudes to come at you and then you can push push the melons in the direction you want Although it doesn't look like it lets me push the exploding ones. Maybe it does. Those are kind of new. You know, the new Wow Pow having the exploding ones. So it lets me push these guys. These guys, not so much. They kind of fade away. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, the new the Wow Pows are interesting because sometimes they seem to work and other times they're kind of like, meh, you know. So we'll kind of see how things go. And then here's the, the vine attack there, kind of does a little slide move with his tail. And you can see the exploding melons will also appear uh, randomly there. So, let's fight some mad guys, see what happens. Aha, here we go. Take some of my life sun energy. Level up. Whoop, I'll just walk right in there. So here's the melons, so when you get surrounded, good because it'll just kind of pop out in multiple areas like that because these guys are a little tricky because they got them swords pretty quick with now I'm using a little vine tail I will hide behind my melons <laughs> I get some food here I like the way he jumps now too um, all right, let's find some more bad guys to take on here. Skylanders of the Earth element are stronger in this zone. Okay, melons. Do your duty. 
Do your damage. See, and when he when he pops up from underground, there he actually does. I think he does a little damage as well. So that's pretty cool. The melon attack. I think that's kind of the one you got to go with, you know. But let me know in the comments below which which path you go with. Mess around with old camo. I don't have a way to get up there. Grab, jump on here. Here we go. Haha! -ha. Gonna toss some vines to you guys. See, the vine stuff is a little random, too, because it kind of goes out and zigzags around in, like, different directions. The only thing you really are controlling is his uh, first attack here, where you can you kind of aim. Everything else is just <laughs> kind of random madness. Where will the melons go? We don't know. Where they explode. So if you like a, if you like a figure with random elements, <laughs> that's my man, Thornhorn Camo. And also, I should point out, shout out to the Asian guy gamer. He actually got this for me as a gift in, in the Archean crossbow pack. Um, we did a little Skylander hunt together, and I was telling him I was having a hard time finding this last week. Uh, you know, as part of the Wave Three stuff, so he, he sort of helped me out. So shout out to the Asian guy gamer, and also, you know, it comes with um, regular Grim Creeper and the uh, Archean crossbow, which is actually pretty cool. I, as far as I know, this is the only way you can get Thornhorn camos. Is from uh, picking up the Archean crossbow to summon the battle pack. Sheep warrior. All right, should we fight the Sheep Mage in this Skylander 101? Let's see, I think this is still like halfway through the level, so I think it'll just be like a little mini. Okay, here we go. Let's get some, let's get some melons out. Good trust melon melancholy on you guys. See it's good. The melons are good for like this kind of stuff when you're surrounded by dudes. Cause it it just goes in every direction. So that's that's kinda why I like the melon path. This way. Alright, so that's a closer look at Thornhorn Camo's gameplay. Fun times. Guys, let me know in the comments below which path you go with when you're leveling up camo and if, uh, if you feel like I went with the right paths. For CoinAppTV, we'll see you guys next time.